is it all doom and gloom? Is there any way to avoid the menace of processed foods? I'm glad you asked. So here are my recommendations for avoiding processed foods. Processed foods are convenient, hyper palatable, and aggressively promoted with the aid of attractive packaging and intensive marketing. In other words, they are hard to resist and they are designed that way. So we're going to need some preparation to defeat this enemy. I recommend the book by Richard Thaler and Cass Sunstein called Nudge. This is where they describe the concept of choice architecture, which is what I'm going to employ for this recommendation. So the idea is you don't wait until you get home, are hungry and tired and have nothing in the fridge and haven't thought about what you're going to have for dinner. You don't want to wait for that moment to decide to avoid processed foods and eat a healthy diet. Rather, you want to design your environment so that in the worst possible scenario, coming home hungry and tired, the easiest thing for you to do is the right thing for you to do, the thing that you want to do, the healthy choice, the, the natural whole, whole food plant-based choice and not the processed food option. So what this means is taking back the kitchen. It means removing the easy to eat processed foods, committing to eating what you prepare and trashing the online ordering apps on your phone. Let's take a closer look at taking back the kitchen. The first step I do is I figure out, I take all the food recommendations in health school, what to eat, what not to eat, and I map them out onto a three meal template that's basically going to serve me every day. I don't have breakfast. I eat during an eight hour window from lunch to dinner. You could have breakfast and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I, I'm just telling you that so you'll understand what I'm, how I've devised my meal plan. My first meal is going to be a lunch, a salad. My second meal is going to be sauteed vegetables with a protein for dinner. And then I'm going to have overnight oats with fruit on it for dessert. This means there's no getting home, fridge empty, guess I'll eat ramen noodles tonight scenario. I've got a plan. I know what I'm going to eat. This takes the guesswork out and avoids the scenario where I'm hungry and tired and, well, I guess it's going to be another ramen noodle night. That scenario doesn't happen. Now that I've got this idea of what I'm going to be eating every day, I can buy produce. I stock the fridge with salad greens and herbs for seven days. I'll add, I'll also buy other produce, some crunchy, wonderful, colorful, tasty toppings to put on the salad, like avocados, carrots, mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes. I'll have seven days of vegetables that I'll be sauteing. I'll have onions that I'll be sauteing and lemon when I'm eating seafood. I'll have my seven days of fruits that I'll add to my overnight oats. I'll have a variety of plant-based proteins from soy protein to micro mycoprotein to tempeh that I'll saute with my vegetables. I'll stock my freezer with all sorts of seafood and this I don't have to do weekly. I can do it every quarter even. I'll also buy frozen plant-based protein like like corn mycoprotein. I'll stock my pantry. This is also done quarterly or less frequently with extra virgin olive oils and balsamic vinegar and other types of vinegar for cooking. I'll have cans of seafood. I usually buy this also about quarterly when I buy the frozen seafood. I'll have a pantry full of whole grains and full of beans. Next I'll cook ahead. If I get home and want whole grains and haven't cooked them, then they're not going to happen. But if I prepare them ahead, you can bet it's going to be on my plate. So I prepare whole grains in a Tupperware four days at a time. I prepare overnights in a Tupperware four days at a time. I prepare beans in a Tupperware four days at a time. And for lunch, I prepare a salad that I take to work with me. 
I'm not eating junk food and snack food because I have an easier, healthier option. The other advantage of buying all this produce in advance is that you feel guilty when you go to a restaurant or order in because you're going to think, I don't want to have to throw away this produce at the end of the week because I didn't eat it. That is a great nudge to push you to eat the foods that are fresh and health promoting and avoid processed foods. All in all, the goal is to prepare for deliberately eating well, for making the healthy choice the easy choice, the default choice, rather than leaving it to the last minute when your choices are going to be haphazard and dependent on processed, convenient, unhealthy food.